Activate your microphones, please. Also learn. Okay, let's call this regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District to order. It's July 25th, 2019. Uh, we'll call the roll, and we'll start with Jason Greenleaf. Here. Joseph Carroll. Present. Charles Anderson. Here. Ben Viola. Here. Judith Cavallaro. Present. Paul Rodriguez. Here. Okay. Oh. Everyone's here. Oh. Yay. Uh, uh, make sure your mics are on. The green light has to be on for push, the mic to work. The push button. Yeah. Yeah. Everything, yeah. Everyone's active. Yeah. Testing one, two, three. Yeah. So let's see <laughs> approval of the minutes. Move approval. Second. All right. Any changes, comments, additions, subtractions? Yes, Mr. Viola. Uh, on the first page, B at the very bottom, May 23rd, 2000. So, got it. 2109. 2109. Better than 2018. But that's not going on today. <laughs> I think that's all I found. Oh, and there's an extra dollar sign on page four under uh, I I capacity reserve. Oh yeah, two dollar. B is dollar dollar. Yeah. That's all I could find. Um, Good job. What page? Four. Four? Oh, sorry. Item I-I. Capacity Four. reserve fee, and then it talks about... Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's an extra dollar sign. It's like an... Okie dokie. Any more changes, subjections, uh, subtractions, additions? All right. All in favor? None opposed. Superintendent's report. Okay, a copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of June is included in your packet. Our average F1 flow for the month was 1.48 million gallons per day. Air fuel quality was again well within our permitted limits. We averaged 93% uh, biochemical oxygen demand removal and 97% uh, total suspended solid removal. Uh, for average concentrations of 18 and 9 milligrams per liter respectively. A copy of the pump station flows is in your uh, packet for June, and there were some anomalies there, but we uh, were able to uh, determine what the causes were and uh, have uh, no concerns. Uh, the uh, construction has begun at the treatment plant for the replacement of control panels four and seven. Um, we've had the pre-construction meeting, and Millican Brothers has been on site. Uh, they uh, running conduit to uh, begin that project. It seems to be going along well so far. Carl and Paul have replaced the VFDs at the Tall Pine Pump Station. Um, Rudy and John have uh, re replaced the carbon for the odor control system at both Old Neck and Old County Pump Stations. Uh, the magnetic door holders uh, were installed within the blower building and the generator and uh, within the blower building at the generator and the MCC room. And uh, CMP had, um, as requested by the town planning department, CMP approached the district uh, with regards to combining access to their proposed substation and the district's uh, pump station on, um, on um, Broad, Turner. Broad Turner Road. Thank you. Uh, I've met with CMP and we've worked through an option that I feel will benefit the district. Uh, it's a very difficult pump station to back out of, especially during um, busy times. And uh, I've, I've, I've provided a copy of that proposed layout and uh, this will be coming back to the board with an easement um, arrangement that, uh, with CMP. So they'll be doing this as part of their project. Um, and as a matter of fact, just today I did get a copy of the easement and I'll forward it on to our council to uh, review and provide comments on. And one last item I wanted to add, add is Avenue 7, Avenue 7. Um, uh, they had a backup in their sewer service uh, this last weekend. Um, Phil Conley was on call and... Uh, the, it was determined that actually the, the cause was actually a plug within their own sewer service. Um, 
And but I just want to commend both uh, Phil and Glenn and Carl and Jay, who all worked together to uh, to evaluate the, the situation, determine what the cause was, and to help out with the uh, uh, homeowner to resolve the problem. So. Okay. Any questions for the superintendent on this report? Okay. I have a question. Yes. So you replaced the uh, carbon filters, and then I know last year we had some a lot of complaints down down that area. Two complaints last year. Two years ago. Oh, two years ago. So there are no complaints on down down there on odor control or odors down in that area. No. So we've got that resolved. Okay. Thank you. I mean, just along that same line, at a different location, uh, I consider it positive that we've had no apparent issues or complaints from the Pine Point Road area where we had all those issues yep. a year ago. So I'm assuming that- again, that, that was two years ago. Right, but we finished, the, yeah. we finished yeah. the corrective measures last spring. Yep. So it's been functioning yep. now for a year, right? Yeah, everything's been- So good. everything's been good? Yep. Thank you. I think the two years, as you get older, the years is kind of- <laughs> <not the day. laughs> It doesn't seem like two years. It was two years ago that, um, that the uh, Pine Point area really had a significant odor issue. Then last year we really addressed the uh, problem very aggressively and uh, I don't think we had one odor complaint from that area. I did have one odor complaint from somebody down on uh, East Grand Street uh, heading towards Old Orchard Beach and um, <laughs> We ended up putting a one of our odor loggers out in the street for them, and we had actually no measurable hydrogen sulfide in that collection system there. So she's come to the realization the problem is something different, and she's looking elsewhere. So is that the seaweed issue? Um, I don't know. In that case, there I haven't heard of any problems with seaweed down that area this year. I know that was a problem last year. Mm -hmm. Okay, correspondence. Let's see, DP uh, incident report at Higgins Beach. On Saturday, July 13th, the district had a SSO, which is a sanitary sewer overflow on Verdap Street, which uh, we were not made aware of until uh, on Monday the 15th. Um, what happened was on Saturday, um, that's Saturday the 13th. The Higgins Beach pump station located on Champion Street, which is around the corner from Red App, uh, sent out a high-level alarm. The on-call operator responded and found the wet well surcharged. Uh, both pumps were pumping and the pump station was fully operational. Uh, no other issues were noted. He, uh, uh, then that Monday, the resident called and informed us that the, they observed the SSO on Verdap Street on Saturday. Um, it was, you know, after evaluating everything, uh, we speculate what, what occurred was that there was a sewer plug that cleared itself and inundated the pump station with flow for a period of time, which caused the system to surcharge, causing the SSO on Verdap Street. Uh, a copy of the incident report has been included in your packet. <coughs> Let's see. Um, DEP uh, Clean Water SRF loan availability. Uh, I provided the board with a copy of DEP's commitment letter for up to $70,000 loan and a $70,000 principal forgiveness. Um, $20,000 of that would go towards a climate adaption plan and $50,000 to a fiscal sustainability plan. As noted, the principal forgiveness means the district does not have to pay back any of the loan. Um, what we do have to do is, it, it's a matching fund situation, so if we spend all of the, um, the $50,000 for the asset management, for that loan, we'd have to spend $50,000 of our own money. Um, so currently, this year, we actually have $25,000 budgeted for asset management, and um, so this loan would essentially double our available funds uh, with that aspect. And if the board chooses, we could utilize the remaining funds next year um, to really move that program along. I'll start pulling together the loan paperwork, uh, which the board will need to authorize. And at that time, they'll decide how, you know, 
how they want to move forward with the loan, whether they want to just use a portion of it, all of it, none of it, uh, but it's fully up to the board. It, does, it is uh, available to us, and I think it would go a long way in helping develop our asset management plan. And that is all I have with regards to correspondence. Any questions for the superintendent, Mr. Viola? So, in, the, in John's letter, John Cruz's letter, he talks about in kind services of the town. He, I think that's just a typo. He meant to say district. district. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's probably a form letter, just didn't get changed. Exactly. <laughs> so, what, what that is saying is that 25000 or our matching funds doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, hard cash it could be our labor involved in um, working on developing the site. seems like a good deal yeah. okay no old business new business uh, phase 5a of eastern village uh, Ballantyne Development, LLC, requested district approval to connect and discharge into the sewer the wastewater from the 10 lots for Phase 5A of Easton Village Subdivision. Subdivision lots 37, 8, 9, 40, 92, 92A, 93, 94, 95, and 96. Previously, the district has approved Phase uh, 1, 2, 2A, 2B, 3, 3A, 3B, 4, and 5. Of this project. Uh, this proposed sewer work associated with 5A includes 365 linear feet of eight inch gravity sewer, three manholes, including one additional one I'm requiring, uh, 10 sewer services, and all the infrastructure, and all the infrastructure within the, private, the public right of way will become district property. I recommend approval of the following conditions. The project is within the original sewer service area. The original lot had an allocation of 52 residential dwelling units, which has all been allocated to previous phases. Consequently, all 10 of the lots are subject to the capacity reserve fee. This fee is based on single family residential dwelling units without accessory units. Any additional homes, dwelling units, or accessory units in excess of this are subject to additional approvals and capacity reserve fees. The current capacity reserve fee per home is $3,283.02 and is adjusted monthly based on the ENR um, construction cost index. Based on the current ENR, the total capacity reserve fee for the 10 dwelling units is $32,830.20. Copy the recorded subdivision plan uh, depicting the amended district approval shall be provided to the district in both paper and electronic format. All sewer services shall have detectable underground utility marking tape placed approximately three feet below grade, directly above the pipe and, and trace of wire installed adjacent to the sewer service. Uh, provide a terminus manhole on reflection square that was left off the drawings. Uh, a CCTV inspection of the installed sewer is required at the completion of the project. Final plan shall be submitted to the district for approval prior to issuance of the plans. A sewer permit is required for each house. And a sewer extension permit is required, and that application must and associated fees shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Um, prior to that, no um, sewer work shall be uh, completed. And then finally, professionally surveyed electronic geo-reference CAD drawings Stamp PDF of the CAD drawings and a stamp paper copy be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. I'll entertain a motion. Um, move approval. Uh, a second. Uh, that, that would be with the conditions stipulated by the superintendent. Correct. Any questions, comments? I, I guess I'm asking a lot of questions tonight. Sure. <laughs> I'm looking at this, it's kind of small because it's the uh, half size sheets, but I'm having a hard time following SD. Is that the sanitary sewer? Is that what that is? Or storm drain. Storm drain. But it looks like, and you know, maybe I'm missing this, I'm not, I'm not seeing the. You're looking at the plan sheet. Yeah, I'm looking at sheet one of two. Um, here I 
right. Maybe, maybe it's just too small. Half-size drawings is uh, a little hard to follow. Mm. <laughs> I don't have, you know, I, I put it up on the screen, but unfortunately my computer won't. But, but you've it. checked it. And I've checked, I've followed uh, all of the, the drawings and lines. That's actually how I found out that there was not a terminus manhole on reflection um, square. Um, but yeah, I, I have I have started the beginning and gone to both ends and looked for conflicts and and looked at the manhole. It's so easier to do on the computer. On this one, it's uh, about in the middle there. If you can see the SM. SMH. 10 A. That, that, that's SMH be, 10. I see that. that, is that that's the sanitary, right? Yeah, the sewer manhole 10. And then it comes down and it looks like it connects into SM. No, there's an SM 10. But then it looks like that SD ties into. Well, I guess that is another line. Yeah, that's another line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I, I've, I'll, I've looked at I'll these. I'll leave that the, to you then. I, I've looked at these on the computers, um, and that's why I provide the electronic copy. But I'm not quite sure. If yeah. You're, you're yes. utilizing that. You can zoom in on that. There's a lot of lines on these drawings, and it can get very confusing. Is that normal? What's that? These these engineering drawings look a little different. They They're really all normal. very very different. Yes. They're just, all very different. I don't remember seeing so many lines on one drawing. Well, I did notice this. There's no stamp on this drawing. I was going to ask about that. Mm -hmm. I just noticed that. And I will follow up on that, make sure that the copy I have is but actually uh, stamped. That's one of the conditions, all, isn't it? All had to be stamped, stamped before yeah. they were submitted to public authorities. And I believe that was condition number. Well, final plan could be ha would be provided. Even for review, this is supposed to be stamped. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, I will follow up on that. I'll make sure that I have a, co a stamped copy before I do anything. I thought it was part of the conditions, but it isn't mm -hmm. spelled out. Okay. All right. Any more comments, questions? All in favor? Unopposed. <coughs> Let's see, 50, Postal Way, or Service Way, sorry. Okay, on behalf of Moody's Collision Center, so the no technics <coughs> request to the Scarborough Sanitary District Board of Trustees approve, approval of the proposed 19,354 square foot um, auto body repair shop. The estimated wastewater flow is 430 gallons per day of <coughs> sanitary waste, excuse me. Uh, the project is outside of the original uh, sewer service area, but within the Walter C. Nielsen Business Park. This business park is located in both uh, Scarborough and South Portland. Uh, the wastewater flow from the park flows into the uh, SSD uh, sewer system via the district's uh, postal park pump station. Uh, there is an intermunicipal agreement between South Portland and Scarborough uh, Sanitary Districts with regards to this development that requires an um, uh, off-peak pumping um, of wastewater for flow generated in the, in the South Portland area. So I recommend approval with the following conditions. Wastewater flow will be limited to the 430 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste. Project is fully subject to the capacity reserve fee. The current capacity <coughs> reserve fee is sixteen forty-two per gallon, is adjusted monthly based on the engineering news record construction cost index. Based on the current rate, the total capacity reserve fee due is seven thousand sixty dollars and sixty cents. And any flows in excess of that are subject to additional approvals from the capacity reserve fee. Final plans shall, shall be submitted to the uh, superintendent for approval prior to issuance of the permits. <coughs> All gravity sewers shall be, have detectable underground utility marking tape in accordance with district standards. Uh, this project is within the w, uh, Walter C. Nielsen Business Park and is subject to that intermissile agreement dated October 8, 1988. Um, and the wastewater will be conveyed to the district system only during off-peak hours as uh, determined by the district and then professionally surveyed electronic geo reference CAD drawings Stamp the PDF of the CAD drawing and a stamped paper copy 
be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. I'll entertain a motion. Move approval with the conditions recommended by the superintendent. Second. Thank you. Any comments, questions? Uh, Carol? Just concern about um, the potential for solvents and then, uh, other types of materials that might be used in the body shop activity, um, finding a way into the, the sewer system. Are there any floor drains in the building that are going to be tied into our system, or uh, have there been provisions made to be sure that any spills there or whatever don't be? There are floor drains and there are two grease traps, mm -hmm. or uh, oil water suppers, excuse me. Um, as part of it, and then um, with the off-peak pump, there will be a, a small pump station that will also capture mm -hmm. any, any additions. We, we already do service, uh, provide sewer service to the Moody's um, facilities down on Pleasant Hill, and you know we have, have had never had any issue that I'm aware of down that area. So I think uh, with that, we should be okay. Thank you. Dave, you said you had two yeah. oil water separators. There's one shown on the plans, but is there one inside the building as well? Or is there... uh, I thought there were two shown on the plans. I there may be. One. I only see one. <laughs> no, there's, you know, I misspoke. There's only, there is only one um, oil water separator for the drains coming out of the building. And then uh, with the off-peak pumping, there will be, that will provide its own capturing system. Okay. So. Cool. Any more questions for the superintendent? All in favor? Not opposed. Can be any monitoring of that discharge? We can. Uh, I'm just curious if that was in the plan. It was not. Um, Something that I think that we can certainly do on, the, on our own for a period of time to make sure that we're fine with it. Yeah, maybe just periodically drop mm -hmm. another sample in there just to double check. And just on this one, or all types of businesses like well, this? Well, industrial, one? industrial. I mean, the intent is that this is not an industrial discharge because they don't they don't tend to they don't tend to process and, and discharge materials that can be detrimental to the system. But mm -hmm. whereas where there's four drains and there's a potential for spills and the like, it's probably wise to be in there periodically and just do some uh, periodic sampling to confirm mm -hmm. they run running things the way they should. Cool. All right. Um, I think the next one on the agenda would be the budget summary. The six month budget summary is included in the packet. I recommend it to people. Move approval. Second. Uh, discussion. Questions, comments? All in favor? None opposed. I entertain public comments, but no members of the public are present, so I'll go with trustees' comments. Ben. Uh, I hope everyone's enjoying the summer. Uh, um, I'm Glad we get on that SSO at uh, Eden's Beach. We uh, to have those happen from time to time. So, yeah, I don't. As as I noted in the incident report, I, I don't think it was that significant of a quantity. Um, obviously, the, the the resident didn't think it was that big of a deal because he waited two days to call us. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, and uh, I think that you're doing a great job, Dave. Thank Keep you. Keep up the good work. Judith. My turn. I'd also like to congratulate David. You do a wonderful job. You keep this thing going. Every time I come to a meeting, I know everything's going to be done to perfection. And um, I think you could run this all by yourself <laughs> without us saying, I agree, because everything is perfect. Also, I'm loving this summer, but I'm really happy that high humidity is finally gone. That was a little too much. 
but you can't complain because we know what's coming next. Yep. So, um, good job, David. Continue what you're doing. I thank you. I don't do it alone. Charlie. Um, yeah, I just uh, again want to thank the staff, especially Phil, Glenn, Carl, and Jay for the work that they did to try and resolve that Avenue 7 problem. We've had, historically, we've had problems in the vicinity of Avenue 7, and uh, it was kind of a relief to know that it wasn't our problem. I think we <coughs> relayed that sewer line uh, several years ago now. Yeah. Before my time. Uh, yeah. Several years ago. Pipe burst. <coughs> well, didn't we burst that pipe and replace it? I don't know the yeah. details around it. At any rate, we used to have a, a low spot on the sewer line there, which caused backups and some problems for Avenue 7. And uh, so when I saw that initial discussion, I said, oh no, I hope it's not that type of problem again. But I was kind of relieved to find out that it was in the residence uh, sewer line and not. And not in the street. So, so was, was I. <laughs> but still happy that the staff worked with them to, uh, to resolve the problem. And uh, again, want to commend the superintendent for the uh, for the loan from CWO SRF uh, for the for the forgiveness provision in it. We used to call those grants. I guess the terminology has changed now. <laughs> so <laughs> be that as it may. Good job there working that out, Dave. So that we. Uh, we uh, have the resources available to finish that plan, so that will be great. Paul. I just wanted to say um, in my short time here, I've been really impressed with uh, the responsiveness and a lot of new business has occurred in just the last few months. And <coughs> I don't have the history to know if it's been a lot busier than normal, but <coughs> keeping up with this, this level and, 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 and the responsiveness that the staff has provided has been really impressive. Joe, it does always seem to be something new every week or every month. I'd just like to thank the staff and the superintendent for their ongoing efforts and good work. And I hope everybody enjoys the summer. Jace? Uh, same. Thank you very much to the staff, Wendy, Dave, all that you do. Uh, I'm down there essentially every Friday, and uh, everybody seems upbeat and doing a great job. So thank you very much for your efforts. Cool. I'll echo my fellow trustees comments and then entertain a motion. I thought you dropped something, but it's just a strap. I'll take a second. Second. All right, all in favor of adjournment. We're done. Thank you.